What have you bought? Everything. If I know anything about wildlife photographers, you need the kit. So this goes around my waist. In here I have a selection of prime lenses. A real quote, that's a macro lens for taking close-up stuff, like really close. This is a 50mm prime, really fast, beautiful lens. Uh, then I've got another harness, so that's for the actual camera. Oh, filters for the flash guns. There's two flash guns, they can actually trip one another off as well. So you pull up, no, stop. What? You pull up by an animal. Yeah? You need to get a photograph of it. Oh, yeah. An animal is going to run off any minute. You need to be quick. But however big or small the animal is, I will have the lens for it, yes. the flash for it. You'll have to hope flash. it's dead or it'll simply run off. And then, importantly, of course, camera body. Very good one. Well remembered. And most importantly of all, telephoto lens. Shall I show you what I've got? Yes. I haven't bothered with any of that. I've just gone for the telephoto. Not one of yours, but that. This is all I've got. That's all you need. Well, that is literally it. Yeah, that's all you need. Well, are you going to photograph animals in this country? That's, I... just, that's a pervert camera. No, it's a Daily Mail camera, is what it exactly. is. Exactly. Well, that's what I meant. Right. <sighs> that is a camera. If we've been tossed with photographing somebody's 21st birthday party... Perfect. Welcome to 2018. Everything you've got in all that kit that you've just shown us is in there. Show me your zoom lens. Behold the Why, lens. Is it, a, is it a cold day? Behold the zoom. The woman in the shop said this camera takes good pictures. That's, well, that's <laughs> enough for me. There are a lot of uh, speed cameras on the motorways, but they put signs up saying it's in 300 metres, 200 metres, 100 metres, there it is. The only trouble is the signs are all in Japanese. However, I'd come up with a cunning plan. In Japan, a simple photograph of the number plate isn't enough. They have to also have a photograph of the face. They have to know who was driving. So what I've done is I've made this. It's a billoddy face mask. It was obviously a slow news week in Croatia, so we were being followed everywhere by the paparazzi and TV crews. We can't do it here. Everybody is filming this. This is impossible. How are you supposed to have a bloody face? Hammond, just pull over here. Stop, 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 stop. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Stop, stop, abort, abort. He's paparazzi. We can't do it here, it'll be in the Daily Mail. You watched Top Gear? Yes. Um... At the next town, James's theory rather fell apart. Oh, of course. Welcome, Captain Slaughy in Syria. Welcome. <laughs> OK, we're all in? Yes. Yes, yes, of course. Come on. This has gone quite badly wrong. Yes. Pat, there. However, before any pictures were taken, May and I hatched a plan we'd been working on for years. Go. Oh, you bastards! Even after I'd finished... That does not count! Can I have a picture of your car, mate? Then Jeremy set off in his metal flake yellow McLaren. Oh, this is astonishing. A McLaren Formula One car would get less attention than this. They're followed by Signature Tune and Hunting Lodge and Dawney's Well from Nason and Malaga Boy. And the Citroen's Oleo pneumatic suspension absorbing the bumps nicely there. This is Unbelievably smooth. As they continue on the far side, it's still Blackthorn who makes the running from up there on the outside, Andy Jin, and behind them is Signature Tune and Hunting Lodge. It's like driving over silk. It's, uh, well, you can see that you're better than I am. Last time they came into the home straight, it was uh, Blackthorn. Blackthorn, but Andy Jin up on the outside. I, I'd love to tell you what's happening, but I can't. Last time I saw it, it was Andy Jin in front. But frankly, I haven't got a clue who actually won. I do. It was the Citroen. Obviously, for when your hair's on fire, you need the BMW. But for comfort, the C6 is just uncanny.
OK, what we've got here is the brand new Top Gear cockometer that I've just thought of. The idea is the camera takes a picture as you approach. The image is then analysed and it tells you how much of a cock you look. Right. I operate the camera underneath. Yes. That swivels about. Yes. And you tell us what it's seeing, James. Right, are we ready? Yes. I've got a picture. Hammond? Yes. Begin! Yes, there she goes. There you go. That's good. Right, that height is good. Right, now head that way, down the river. Point it down. You're not pointing at the river. Point it well, down. Well, you want me to point down. it down. No, you, you oh, fly no, level. Sorry. You okay. point the camera down. Yeah. Right. We would redeem ourselves with my new, brilliant and extremely complicated traffic system. What I've done here is I've fixed up uh, a link between the Highways Agency's uh, headquarters in Godston in Surrey so I can see all the traffic cameras from all the motorways in the region. Now, what's happening is we've got an outside broadcast truck um, at Godston. It's firing its signal up to a satellite 22,000 miles in space, back down to White City in London. They're firing down to a switching station in Tunbridge Wells, and here we are in the studio looking. And I, if I can swing the camera around now, we can get it off the main pictures. I can even <laughs> zoom in. With full control of the cameras, Jeremy could reveal his big plan. Last year in Hertfordshire, the number of cameras they had went up by 24%. Deaths went up by 34%. <laughs> Wiltshire, cameras went up 14%. Deaths went up 22%. Uh, it's the same story in Avon and Somerset, same story in North Wales. OK, now, County Durham, no cameras. Deaths went down 24%. <laughs> and North Yorkshire as well, no cameras. Deaths down 9%. Right. And there's a very good reason for this. Because if you're driving down a road that's got loads of cameras, all you're looking at is your speedometer and into bushes. Like, and you're never <laughs> looking where you're going. Uh, there was the time when James May, whilst following the Range Rover camera car, somehow managed to lose sight of it for a moment and then start following an entirely different Range Rover. <laughs> And he failed to notice for an hour that it didn't have a camera crew in it and was, in fact, nothing to do with Top Gear at all. No, no. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of the degree of James's idiocy there, um, here's a picture of a normal Range Rover. There it is, look. And now uh, here's a picture of one of our filming Range Rovers. There is a, a giveaway <laughs> there, yeah. I then went to the other side of the caravan park because a piece of equipment called a Russian arm which cost £6,000 a day to rent, had just arrived from the set of Spielberg's War Horse. There it is. And it's gyro-stabilised, so it's smooth, even if the car's going over rough ground. So even when the car's moving along, it can do that, which gives you very, very dynamic shots. Still, at least when it got dark, things got worse. Whoa! Whoa! It's all give you epilepsy, these cameras. 